I've never cut, tried Kentucky Fried Chicken, so I don't know what it tastes like. I'll never crave it. And I'll probably never try it because I'm afraid I'll like it, so. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken. KFC, you guys asked for it. You're getting it. First time ever. We just gotta find one. This is hilarious right now. So we just searched for the nearest KFC near where we were. And we come to this one, okay? Now open till 10.30. One thing I've never had, Kentucky Fried Chicken and Taco Bell, and there's a Taco Bell like right next door. Angie told me there's a special plate or something where you get the mashed potatoes, right? How many pieces of chicken? I don't even know what you get here. So I'm not gonna eat a big tub of chicken. I'm not gonna do Lee Priest, you know? Literally a week out from the show and eat a whole bucket of chicken. The big bucket, he'd eat that. What is it? 16 piece, maybe? It's the first time Kentucky Fried Chicken ever, so 50 years. I haven't tried Kentucky Fried Chicken in 50 years. But you know, I, I'm like, to be honest, last time I had Chick-fil-A that fried, it kind of messed up my stomach a little bit. So I'm gonna try the chicken tenders and I need to try the mashed potatoes. Social media thing, so everyone's like, you have to try, try Kentucky Fried Chicken. So I'm gonna try tenders and I'm gonna try the He's gonna do the sandwich, so we're gonna kind of get a little feel of everything. But I heard the mashed potatoes are really good. So yeah, the mashed potatoes and gravy. I don't know if I'm gonna get gravy though. Should I get gravy? No, you gotta get gravy. You really? got yeah, you gotta do the mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah. I dip the nuggets in the okay, okay, mashed I'll potatoes try and gravy. I'll try it. KFC's been around for a little. I well, I mean, I'm 50 years old, so yeah, it's like I'm 69. And yeah. What do you think they're most known for? The chicken. Well, like what? The exactly. 11 herbs and okay. spices is chicken. It's, it's different than any other chicken. Wow. Green peas tender. What kind of sauce should I get? What's the best one? Uh, What's the KFC sauce? KFC sauce is like a little worse than the cane sauce, but it's still pretty good. Which one's the best one? I never do sauces. Okay, well, all right. Well, whatever. Whatever you think the best one is. Let me try. And then we're going to get some nuggets. You said three piece tender, right? Yeah, uh, three piece tender. What would you like for your side? Uh, uh, mashed potatoes. I've had fried chicken, but not okay. Kentucky okay. fried chicken. Okay. You ever had that? Have you ever had ribs? No, I've never had ribs. You never had ribs? No. Okay, now if you, the best ribs, uh, when they're so tender that they fall off the bottom. But does that happen in Las Vegas or does it happen more in different places? Well, no, no, you can have ribs. Anywhere. I don't care. What, but if you ever had ribs, the one that kind of like they fall, fall off the bottom. bottom. That's the best man. That's what Kentucky Fried Chicken Okay, is. okay, for the for the and, actual and chicken. As far as the chicken, because it's so tender. Okay. Whatever herbs and spices that they use, it kind of falls off the bone. How many times a week do you have Kentucky Fried Chicken? I don't eat as much as I used to. Of course, before they had Popeyes and, yeah, yeah. and churches and everything, I used to have it actually probably at least, at least once a week. But and I, I never had Taco Bell either, so that's what I'm going to try next. You know what? I know, it's right next door. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to see what this, what this food's all about right here. They gave us a lot of sauces, guys. Not, yeah. the, not the chaos. I didn't lose anything. The bag rip. Too much shit in there. <laughs> what is this right here? What are you supposed to do? These are the uh, tenders, huh? Are you supposed to dip them in something, Tyler? Yeah, I, I would, personally, you got to dip them in the mashed potatoes, honey. Huh? Am I blown away? <laughs> so now yeah. I can't say in my in my speeches, I've never had Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's okay, it's not great. I'm not overly impressed. No. We got nuggets too, right? The nuggets I think are better than the um the chicken strips. Than the tenders. And those are the new nuggets. They had popcorn and chicken before. It's pretty good actually. Yeah, the mashed potatoes are pretty um bad for Artific you. Artificial. Yeah. The iced tea's pretty good though. <laughs> Four out of ten. 
if there's a burger place I need to go in Vegas, someone needs to let me know. Or if there's one for me to try in a different place when I travel. I want to go to like a place that's known, that's not a chain. Like someone that said, hey, we, this is the best burger we've ever had. There's some burger that Brian Shaw did that was like three or four pounds, I think, or something. What is that, cheese? I don't know, I just ordered it straight. Pretty spicy. Is it the KFC sauce? Pretty spicy sauce. That guy talked like this place was like the next coming. Different than any other chicken. All right guys, so you witnessed history right here. So I tried Kentucky Fried Chicken for the first time. I get about four out of 10. I don't think I'll be coming back. We've been doing these late workouts right now, but today is everyone's favorite day, it's arm day. The one feel set will go, uh, go about 70 pounds. One more set here. We're trying to do our 60 seconds between. 60 seconds is our rest time. And we're gonna knock out 12 right now. This is gonna be tough, so. All right, question is guys, when you do these, this movement, try to keep your elbows not too far out, right? So try to keep the elbows so you can really get that stretch, okay? You guys that are putting the elbows out way too wide, you're getting less of a contraction. Okay, that was 12. We're gonna move on to the next. I was always a volume trainer. So training to failure really wasn't, wasn't ideal for me. It's either volume or train for failure. One or the other, not a combination of both in my opinion. So a lot of sets, a lot of reps. Whereas training to failure, less reps, heavier, a little more rest period. And uh, just never really been my thing. We're gonna start with biceps okay start with the Atlantis seated two-arm curl okay how many was that I wasn't counting Who are you counting I, was... I didn't count I was being did a live stream <laughs> huh? was it 17 you got 15 16 17 16 you guys can't count either what's up, what's up with that how come you guys can't count how do you keep your elbows from getting fatigued I don't know if my elbow is at fatigue, but I mean, look, my, I'm in the lock position with this. I talked about that lock position, that isolation. Isolation is really important for biceps. I feel that someone like me who swings a lot, you guys are gonna witness that soon. Uh, I think I need some fixed position when I do my arm training. So, good pump already. Okay, so workout's been good. So I'm not coming all the way up, guys, and taking the tension off. I'm keeping constant tension, okay? There's probably been over a thousand comments asking your thoughts on Sam Solik. Unbelievable. Uh, great the content he's doing. I'd like to get a workout in with him, see if he can hang. Tell Sam 
that he needs to get a workout with me at the Arnold Classic. We'll be there together. He did some sort of video on me or something, didn't he? Watching my... You, you were doing a cameo in this same gym, and you are like, go talk to some girls. And he just like pumped out a bunch of squats. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I'll send it to you. It's, it's hilarious. Well, I, I can teach him how to talk to some girls. <laughs> a few years experience on that scene. First one on the planet to use these in 2008. Okay, so grip strength, different muscle fibers. That's what we're aiming for with this, okay? This is not an ad, this is not a sales pitch, okay? We try to do explosive reps. So 60 seconds. So I don't use fat grips every single workout. And I don't even do barbell curls every single workout. Now, we go between straight bars, cambered bars. We can do spider curls with a bar, with dumbbells. So particularly I wanna do, since I did a machine, I'm gonna do a barbell. Next move is gonna be probably a dumbbell. That's what I'm already starting to think about. But we're gonna do three sets here. I'm gonna stay with a little lower weight. This definitely hurts your ego a little bit because it definitely makes it heavier as the, the bar is much wider, okay? All right, so guys, listen, uh, you'll notice my form is not perfect, okay? We have a joke out there, they call me the form king. I always trained sloppy, okay? Meaning there's body movement, okay? I do feel the stimulation of the biceps. No matter what you guys think, I don't put my back against the wall and do strict curls. That's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get through the repetitions. Sometimes the weight gets heavy and sometimes I swing more, sometimes I swing less, but trust me, I'm feeling every single rep uh, in control, okay? That? Constant tension, that is the key. Constant tension, continuous pump, muscle fibers, blood flow, right. stimulation, get out of the gym, feed it, okay? At the peak, my arms were 22 and a half. Today, they measure about 19 inches, okay? Still plan to drop actually more weight, so. We talk about failure that could be close. Uh, spider curl, guys. What I like about this exercise, this is strictly biceps, okay? I have a ten tendency to go a little faster than I probably should, but the arms hang down, the contractions there. It takes the shoulders 
takes the back out of it. We're leaning here, the chest is high. I'm aiming for 12. I'm starting to get fatigued a little bit, so. Okay, look at the foot position, guys. Okay, balance. hold there. That was 13. Okay. So 13. Now they're asking what your thoughts are on the trend, trend twins. They're great boys. I need to work out with them too. Still take great team? Yeah. Take, so I just took some with the fundamentals before I train. Take a little bit after blood flow. Creatine is the, the ultimate. Okay. Everyone on TikTok should be using it. Only like on screen though. All right, so 12 reps. Three, four, five, six. All right, so I counted sixes, so six more. I appreciate you guys pushing me along today for this workout here. It's kind of a lot different. You know, people have their training during the weekdays. Very few people train on Saturday evenings, but you guys know I love it that much. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones. Go sexy on you. I kept the script. I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep. Cause I'm working nights, hey 